welcome to uv physics here they have given the relation between first excited and ground state and the corresponding energy is also given and we he is asking to find the ground state first take the showing the equation minus h cross square by 2m psi double prime of x uh, plus v of x into psi of x equal to e psi of x and here h cross is given as a 1 and uh, the mass is uh, 1 by 2 so here this will be uh, equal to 1 now let us uh, write this Schrodinger's equation for the first excited state for the first excited state let us write so it will be minus psi 1 of x double prime plus uh, v of x psi 1 of x equal to its energy is given as a minus 1 minus uh, psi 1 of x now already they have given a relation let, let us take that relation psi 1 is uh, psi naught sine hyperbolic x you just find a two times derivative and take it and substitute that is uh, psi 1 prime is a psi naught sine a psi naught prime sine hyperbolic x plus psi naught cos hyperbolic x and one more time if you find the derivative that is uh, psi naught double prime sine hyperbolic x here you will get a psi naught prime cos hyperbolic x and here also one more term the psi naught prime cos hyperbolic x that's why 2 psi naught prime cos hyperbolic x plus here one more term is there that is a psi naught sine hyperbolic x so just take this and substitute here it is a minus so minus a psi naught double prime sine hyperbolic x minus 2 psi naught prime cos hyperbolic x minus a psi naught sine hyperbolic x uh, after that plus plus v of x into psi 1 psi 1 is again uh, psi naught sine hyperbolic x equal to minus psi 1 that is uh, psi naught uh, sine hyperbolic x so if you see here we can cancel these two terms and finally what's the remaining minus psi naught double prime sine hyperbolic x minus 2 psi naught prime cos hyperbolic x plus v of x into psi naught sine hyperbolic x equal to 0. Now let us take uh, the Schrodinger's equation for the ground state. For the ground state it is a minus uh, psi naught double prime of x plus uh, v of x into psi naught of x equal to minus 4 the energy is given as a minus 4 into a psi naught of x <coughs> here uh, if you take this equation whatever the first excited state we got we just take it and divide this entire equation with the sine hyperbolic x then we will get the first excited state equation uh, once you divide with the sine hyperbolic x what you will get here minus psi naught double prime of x and uh, minus 2 psi naught prime tan sorry i think it's a cot cot hyperbolic x because the cos by sine uh, plus this is a v as it is v of x and again uh, a psi naught of x equal to 0. If you simplify these two equations if you subtract here it is plus here it is plus here it is uh, minus and these two gets cancelled and uh, uh, these two also gets cancelled now here we have 2 psi naught prime cot hyperbolic x uh, that side we have 
of minus 4 sin out of x. So here this is uh, do sin out by do x oh, cot hyperbolic x equal to uh, minus 2 sin out of x. This is a, a first order differential equation. If you make it a variable separable, then it will be do sin out by sin naught equal to uh, this is a minus 2 and cot hyperbolic will come this side then we can write it as a tan hyperbolic and if you integrate if you integrate and the final answer you will get it as a, a secant h square x this one so if you uh, solve this integral you'll get sin naught of x is equal to uh, secant h square x 